Hello and ever welcome everybody. Jesus, that was already a horrible intro. Uh, welcome oh. everybody to the third episode of this podcast that we still do not have a name for. I haven't even like considered trying to think of a name for this. I haven't podcast. even put in the effort. <laughs> I haven't at all, and no one else has like given me any kind of like feedback for a name either. Um. Today I am joined with Alyssa Cat. Uh, Hector Alice Major is actually out right now doing his own thing, which you know, that's fine. He hates us, but it's okay. That's okay. Uh, we don't have a whole bunch of topics. This is kind of like spur, like kind of like a last second podcast as well, because uh, well, we're trying to upload on Monday and we're recording Sunday, so it's uh, it's kind of like last second thrown together. But anyway, uh, the first thing that we wanted to talk about today uh, was Kanye's new album. And I know nothing about this. And Alyssa had was f- forced herself to listen to at least five minutes of it. Yeah. Uh, like um, an hour ago, so. Not my favorite, but also I don't care for new Kanye. Um... What was um, the the main points about it? Quite religious, which wouldn't expect anything else from Kanye at this point in his life. Yeah, so, like, is it actually religious, or is it, like, referring to himself again? Um, you know what? Probably him referring to himself. But also, you know, I again, I didn't listen to all of it. Yeah, I couldn't. He does have a it. god complex, though. Yeah. Has like a super bad. Yep, poor Kim. He's quite so. Oh yeah, and him and Kim are getting divorced, but now they're like back together. Are they seriously back together? What the fuck? I think so. When, I would have uh, totally extended he... this topic. What the fuck? <laughs> when oh, <laughs> when he did like whatever promo for when. Donda was dropping. Um, Kim was like there at the end of it. She like went up on stage and then they like she was wearing like a wedding dress type fit, you know? Right. Like, damn. They were, mm-hmm. And they just did like a whole second marriage, like, how you thought. Right? Type thing. And they're back together. And that's it. That is disgusting. That's so dumb. Yeah, you hate to see it. Poor poor Kim, I was so happy for her. She might have, like, a fucking Stockholm. And, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's her own dumbass fault, though, too. It's probably just because of the clout that it yeah, brings. Yeah, 100%. Neg- ne- negative or not, it's attention. Yeah. So. Uh, the second thing, which is not related to, but came out at the same fucking time... Uh, Drake saying he's a lesbian, apparently. <laughs> yeah, um, let me pull up the lyric, um, for it one second. But, um, he basically declares that he's a lesbian. In his girls, one girl song, uh, he says... She like eating pussy. I'm like me too. And then it says, "Yeah, say that you're a lesbian, girl. Me too." <laughs> like uh, this is he called himself a lines. lesbian. Yeah. Um. Just the fact of like sexualizing or fetishizing. Right. Lesbian, yeah, I see, I see like woman saying. loving woman. Right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Probably not the smartest fucking move. Right. In in 2021, you know? Yeah. 2021, uh, anyone can get fucking cancelled at any moment in time. Right. You think that any publisher, anyone would have given him a little bit of hindsight when they heard the song. Because guaranteed he's not, he didn't make the song put it out. You know? Yeah, like, no one he, said, hey buddy, that's a little problematic. <laughs> Not one yeah, person. Not none of his friends are like, yo, uh it's usually it, dude, but I don't think this <laughs> is it. 
Isn't like Millie Bobby Brown really good friends with Drake? I have no idea. I feel like she would have heard the song already and been like, hey, bestie, this ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> um, mo- <laughs> I can't, I definitely can't stay on that topic for long because the fucking, yeah, I know was, nothing was, about those people. It was just one lyric. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really just like, it's shocking how that was able to come out. And mm-hmm. as well as with the fucking Kanye thing uh, that came out at the same time. I don't know. Donda. Yeah. Donda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Named after his mother. How cute, though. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. You'd think he would just name the, the album the Now Kanye or something like that. <laughs> God, God Kanye. God Kanye. Yeah. Um, another. So we have a few topics here, and they're we're just seeing how uh, far they're really gonna take us. I have two topics that I feel like are really gonna take uh, a lot of time uh, to get through and whatever. So mm-hmm. hopefully, you know, hopefully we can stretch this out. Uh, <laughs> but the next topic on this little list here is uh, Minecraft: Lord of the Rings. So I it was brought to my attention that over the course of eight years, uh, mm-hmm. there's all these Minecraft people who recreated the entirety of uh, the Lord of the Rings map. The uh, entirety. The map? Yeah, the entire world of Lord of the Rings. Like, to scale? Yep. Oh my god. Yep, eight Can years. Can I see that? Yeah. Let me, let me look that up. I, can you imagine how long it took to do a time lapse for that shit? Oh, right? I mean, Mind people built, like, crazy castles. Of the entire Middle Earth? Apparently they, like, just got done with it. Oh, this says 2019. Maybe oh. this is a different one, but I doubt it. Yeah, I kind of doubt that too. I can't this imagine. is Gandalf's firework cart. Wow. Details of everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> they have the firework cart? Yep. That's crazy. Um. Oh my yeah, gosh, I- they even have foot markers like throughout um showing you the path that they took. Oh, like the path that the actual main characters and stuff took? Uh, yeah. They have little foot markers throughout on the floor and it just looks like little feet steps. Footsteps. That's actually That's really cool. So cool. I wonder if they have the uh is was it ogres? Is that what those were? I wonder if they have those um, from, uh, well, they're from The Hobbit, but you see them in Lord of the Rings as well. Let me skip quite a bit ahead in here. Oh, the hidden door. Oh, they, for, from The Hobbit? No. This oh. is from Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Well, this is so neat. Yeah, they, uh, I didn't know they did the uh, the foot trail or anything like that, and I guess mm-hmm. I was I guess I was kind of behind on that uh, article, but wow. that is pretty crazy. Eight years to have built the entirety yeah, of that, uh, Middle Earth. That's so nuts to me. Yep. Uh, second video. Dang, this is not. Stretching super far, but I guess we're just probably gonna have to make shit up on the spot. Um, Call of Duty claims to have had to have an amazing system that bans hackers finally. So, I'm sure as you know, uh, Warzone was in its like, (laughs) what's up? Oh, go ahead. Uh, so they 
they released a video where they banned like five million hackers or something like that. Yeah, that's 5, what I was 000. about to say. Like, it, was, it was like fifty or five hundred thousand, but it was like a good chunk, you know. It was a lot of people, and it's ridiculous how many people were hackers. Yeah. Or and like, what's even more ridiculous is like. They have a video of this guy who had multiple accounts I hadn't even hacked on yet, but he they knew he had hacked on one of them before, so they blocked all of his accounts, and that was what the video Ooh. had. Ooh. And I was like, wow. okay, so Call of Duty might be getting fixed, but then I go over and I watch fucking, like, uh, basically I do work videos, or just, like, random fucking... Mm -hmm. Any stream, uh, con really? <laughs> any streamer or like random tiktoks of warzone and they're still hackers mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like oh so they just did this big chunk and then decided to give the fuck up i guess right like one and done not a uh, keep up of it yep uh, it's just it fucking is it just like me. the reporting system doesn't work or it just I'd... doesn't sense hackers on its own. Um, yeah, it doesn't sense hackers on its own. Like, it doesn't have an anti-hack. So, like, mm -hmm. if you did report it and it actually went through, they could literally just make a new account and still hack. And then it oh, would take another right. person to report that account and blah, 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 you know, so on and so forth. Right. So, I mean, for... Game, but... Yeah, so for a bit there... Uh, tons of Warzone players were coming over to Apex. I saw a thumbnail for mm -hmm. a Courage JD uh, video where he reacts to It's Timmy, like the one of the world's best mm -hmm. Apex players, uh, drop like a 9,000 damage game, which if you know It's Timmy, that's like pretty much fucking chump change. This guy is insane. Yeah. Um, so... He he sees like reaction to that, and I'm just like I, you know, like we're all thinking like okay, yeah, this that's an insane amount of damage, but like for a Warzone player to watch this and be like, oh my god, that's like he's he yeah, he has to be hacking, like you know, mm -hmm. like there's no way. It's like oh well, you know, there's a fucking way, and I'm not saying that uh, Timmy might not be hacking because I have one hundred percent had suspicion <laughs> to that he. There's TikToks of him too snapping. <laughs> yeah, he, he's he's had like a lot of like snapping moments, like where like mm -hmm. he's shooting at one person, snaps either straight behind him or snaps straight to the next person, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, That's awesome, but... yeah, but um, so there's that, and it was just weird seeing like a war a uh, war zone vet doing that. But now I think they're all traveling back to their own game and getting the fuck out of ours. And it was fun bullying them for a bit while they were it, there. It was. We we landed and... Oh, we got two wins immediately, right? Yes, I think we During did. During that, we got, we got like two like, in a row, yeah. Two and back to back. Yeah, that was great. And it was, was like a huge people, ego boost for a people moment. People trying to like rat or people thinking that they shot <laughs> us enough to kill us, but they definitely didn't. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, good stuff. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know if they actually did fix Warzone though. Like, I feel like COD is just putting on a fucking face. Like, yeah, we're the good guys. Look at us. We're a good company for doing this. I, and then Yeah, I really don't know how COD isn't dead yet with how bad it's been and how many complaints everyone's had. Everyone I know has a love hate relationship with that game. Yeah, exactly. I I just can't fucking. I don't know. I, I I don't understand how you still have fun knowing like in every other game or even every game you're gonna fucking just you're not gonna win because you're just gonna keep running into fucking hackers, and right. like sometimes that shit's fun because sometimes that shit's fun because you, you make it your goal to kill the hacker, and even if it's just the hacker, you kill the hacker. Yeah. But like one out of the hundreds or you know at least 
pen in that lobby. Yeah, well, not even that. Uh, even hackers uh, via uh, search and destroy. Oh, really? Yeah, there's, I mean, hackers all throughout COD, but I mean, Warzone I guess players fair enough. especially. Warzone Warzone, Warzone I players, feel yeah. like, is definitely the biggest, but Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't imagine people wasting their time in, like, multiplayer, but Well, it's it's to fair get their enough. it's to get their fucking KD up and and Oh, uh, yeah. just piss off little kids and get content for that. I mean, every now and then I'm on TikTok and I see this one guy who actively hacks. Like after COD posted that, I literally saw him streaming him hacking COD again. And it's like, oh, thanks for the sub, dude. Yeah, we're just hacking. You know what it is. <laughs> so casual, God. yeah it's so fucking disgusting and like the guy the the one that they uh showed like the little snippet video of with all his accounts Mm hmm. and stuff he was thanking activision for doing it because he said um it's about time they're doing something cause, and like i'm just really happy that hackers are getting out myself included because i can't believe how long i got away with doing that shit Wow. And it's like, yeah, but it's like, I, I fucking hate, I don't know. I The just audacity fucking, that hackers have. <laughs> yeah, like That's so, I've, I've seen, we're going to create this problem and then we're going to laugh at how long it takes for other people to fix it. What? yes, yeah, exactly. Well, like, that's the thing, like, if anything that like kind of helps the case, like Mm hmm if you start hacking and more people start hacking, then your game just becomes fucking unplayable. And in that situation, everyone was going over to Apex, like I said. And then fucking, they got shat on on Apex, but they'd rather get shat on on Apex than fucking deal with hackers Right? over there, where it's just Know completely that it's unfair. from people being skilled rather than Just people hacking, yeah. hacking. Well, there is, uh, so that was another thing I was going to say. I've ran into, like, several, I've ran, not, not several, I ran into, like, I think, like, three hackers on Apex in my entire existence on Apex. Really? Yeah, once with, uh, Hector, there was a guy who didn't have a line of sight on us, but knew exactly where we, we were. I think he was, like, walling. Uh, he might, he might have actually had, uh, aimbot as well, but... He definitely, like, knew exactly where we were, and, like, I wouldn't even be peeking yet, and he'd, like, shoot the top of my head, like, the, like, the literal scalp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, it, it was some really nasty stuff, and, like, someone would fall down, and he would be able to trace every single bullet, so, Really? I don't know. Yeah, he might, it might be in magnetic bullets, too, I don't know. Which, that's like a new breed of hacks, honestly, Interesting. the magnetic bullets, yeah. Yeah, but I've never heard of that. That's where, uh, well, that's literally where you can't miss. Like, if, if someone's following you have aimbot, you might be shooting behind them. Magnetic bullets just immediately hit them. So, like, you can shoot anywhere, not even aiming at them, and it'll still hit them. Hmm. Like soldier in Overwatch. Yeah, like, like kind of like that, yeah. Nuts. Fucking disgusting. Wow. I wish I was smart enough to use uh, fucking hacks. Smart enough, Gaming yeah, would sure. be <laughs> Gaming would be so easy But then it wouldn't be fun Yeah, you know, I don't get also The fun in hacking Yeah, like, oh, It's just you. repetitive Yeah, It's like. not like Using skill or anything The only skill I guess is like Hacking maybe, but you know Oh no, they they literally Kind of just that go on a website, download software, and that's it. Oh, Like well, I guess it's the people it's that make the software, Yeah, big the people brains, that make the but software. Just big brains, little dicks. Like I don't yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking Ugh. But yeah, so like I think I ran into my third hacker today on Apex. Really? Yeah, this guy had no fucking line of sight on me at all, I felt like. But he hit every bolt. I didn't see him peek at all. He was on from my perspective, he was not on my screen.
and like he was shooting me somehow like just the fucking most insane shit i'd be behind i felt like i was behind cover and he was still hitting me i don't know by going through like or... shooting through cover i yeah. i don't know he might have been he had to have been walling well yeah definitely walling but like that I, I just like he had no way of knowing where the fuck i was but i wouldn't even be peeking and i'd be getting shot or like i'd yeah. barely be peeking i'd be getting shot and i didn't see anyone on my screen shooting me mm-hmm so I think that I think he was definitely a hacker today. I should have reported it, but obviously I can't tell. I, I need right. to watch more. But there's was, there wasn't another fight right after that, so I got bored. <laughs> Fair. Whenever I watch Alan play, I feel like sometimes he's playing against hackers, but also I just want to think that he's new to the game and so not that great and makes it easy. Right. But. I don't know. Some of these shots people hit are pretty nutty. Right. Especially yeah. with how like spastic um Alan moves in the game. Uh that's not like too easy to track. Yeah, but... I know. It's just I don't know. It, it doesn't I mean like with you you saying with Apex? Yeah, with Apex. I mean, sometimes there's just some nutty shit. Like, the 301 is an absolute fucking tracking unit. Yeah, it is. Ooh, really that's good. another thing I kind of want to say. I, I didn't want to talk about this for the podcast, but I wanted to tell you this oh. in general. I've been using the Flatline lately. And flatline it's been 301? Here. No, just Flatline. Oh. Um, but I've been using it lately for ranked, and I made it up to Plat. Um, it but, carried you pretty much. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I used it, and it was it was going super super well. And then I get in this Pathfinder's face, like we're literally face to face. He's in me, like point blank almost. Mm-hmm. And I aim at him. I literally only aiming at him. He's not even moving. And I shoot an entire clip and hit like f- like two bullets out of the whole clip. Was and I'm the, like, I'm, the spray uh, just that large or like I the have pattern? I have no idea. Like he like I said, he was right in front of me and like <laughs> it had to have been lagging because like there's yeah. no fucking shot. All those missed, like there had to be no rigs, but like, Damn. I literally was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" And he knocked me. <laughs> I watch Alan shit. hit the nuttiest one clip. This guy had purple shield, so Alan must have had a three hundred one, I think. Uh-huh. And he one clipped this dude because he was shooting at his teammate, and Alan isn't good at sticking with his teammates. And so he just did this huge flank that seemed unnecessary, but he got the guy. It was so goaded. One clip. I get excited so watching. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of plays I had while I was playing in gold where I was like, oh my god, I'd have my fucking kid. Holy shit. <laughs> Super good. Super good. Uh what's another so a the last topic which might spark more topics as we go obviously is our Mm -hmm. favorite movies and why they are our favorite movies this is good i was just talking about my favorite movies uh this weekend obviously number one is tokyo drift that's that's not obviously (laughs) to the podcast (laughs) viewers or well, to me, for that matter. It, I never understood should... why that's your favorite. Well, I feel like the mass populations has got to have that movie as their favorite, too. It's got the best soundtrack of all time. Mm. Um, It's got great storyline, you know, separate from all the other Fast and the Furious movies. So you can watch it alone. That I have been told. What's that happening. I have actually been told, yeah. Um, It has, like... Just uh, the most, like, beautiful, um, you know, scenes, because 
the pretty cars plus being in you know, Tokyo. Japan, yeah. Tokyo. It's gorgeous. Wonderful movie. Obsessed with all the characters. Vin Di was Vin Diesel in it? If it was separate, like was he in it? a minute. Oh, for really? Like, uh, not even a minute, like 30 seconds at the very end of the movie. That's hilarious. Was, uh... Oh, what was his name? Oh, wow, I, I can't believe I actually forgot his name. Paul Walker? Paul Walker, was he in it? No, he wasn't in it either. Wow. That's why it's completely standalone. Yeah. That's I mean, it, it does have, like, a snippet, a part of the main story with Han. But... Okay. That's really weird. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, You've I never, never seen Tokyo Drift? I started watching... You're going to hate me. I started watching Fast and the Furious around, I think, the sixth movie. What the... Yeah. What? Oh. Moles, yep. that's heartbreaking. Yeah, well, you know, they're... No, not really. <laughs> they're <laughs> not that great. <laughs> they're... The beginning ones are so good. Too Fast, uh... Too Furious? Come on. You said, come on, like I should give a shit. With <laughs> Luda and Bow Wow, come on. <laughs> So good. I I'm gonna have to disagree with that. Mm. Um right. what's your uh, favorite movie? My favorite movie is so I can criticize it. Uh, it's it's <laughs> actually between two movies, I think. Uh mm. superhero, of course. Two my two like contending favorite movies are actually Spider-Man Far From Home. And, uh, Logan. You liked Logan that much? Dude, Logan was such a good movie. It was an insanely good movie. They, it, like, even with that, take out Wolverine, the aspect mm. of Wolverine, and it was still mm. a kick-ass movie. Yeah, it was definitely good. Heartbreaking. Yeah. Good. Um... I wouldn't say up there my favorites. I definitely can't remember many scenes from the movie. I just thought like it was, it was such like, a good. What were like the, the best parts? The best parts of Logan. Uh, I think just him, um, like being tired of being the good guy, like just being tired of being uh, the Wolverine, uh, helping people. Like when she said that she needed his help and he was like no i don't mm -hmm. do that anymore like i felt like he really did just want to be left alone i felt like he also deserved to be left alone like it all made sense right. but at the same time like obviously he couldn't do that it's a superhero movie but like <laughs> you just feel like i mean all the x-men are dead and you know why like most of the x-men are dead i, I think I, I don't know if it's all or most i can't remember but, uh, I mean, Professor X, he, fuck it, he basically killed them all. Or, I, like, most I, of them. I didn't really keep up with much of the X-Men stories. So, I, uh... I he... did see Logan in, like, maybe the beginning of, like, the X-Men series, but... So, um, apparently Professor X's powers just got so out of hand that... Uh, any mutant within a certain radius of him, like, mm -hmm. died of, like, either... I can't remember if it was an aneurysm, which, oh my god, or just uh -huh. uh, something to do with the brain in general. Right. Yikes. Yeah, it's fucking... Yeah, that was wild to hear that shit. I mean, Logan didn't, I, I'm sure, because regenerative power. Uh, mm -hmm. There's also another mutant that was with them that I can't even remember which one it was. But it's a weird one. I know that much. Um I thought seeing young Logan as uh as fucking, you know, the the clone, I thought seeing him was fucking insane. 
but also uh <laughs> having what's her fuck in that movie was awesome too uh, is her name x2 i can't remember what her name was i don't uh, know but yeah she was seeing her was really fucking cool because like you see you can tell like okay i i would be totally fine with her as the new generation uh wolverine mm-hmm. i think that would be pretty sick uh but i i think like just the moral of it all was just like laying logan to rest finally was pretty nice and it's like it's like how endgame was like when all the avengers oh. When all uh, of them die, die or retire <laughs> or something like that, it's like yeah, it's about time and like they deserve uh, a good resting space. Finally, yeah, true. They they did have to end it at some point, and I guess they did it well. Yeah, both, and both and I movies. guess they might be bringing the X Men into the MCU now, which would be pretty fucking sick. Right. Um, so they could do like a bunch of prequels, basically, with all that. Mm, I think they're actually just gonna reboot uh, the series as a whole and hopefully oh. recast Hugh Jackman, which I think there was a whole thing Hugh yeah. Jackman said that he would be okay with coming back as a Wolverine if it was rebooted. Uh, but Disney, I think, also owns uh, Deadpool now, so that's gonna be. Inter- that's gonna be interesting to say the least. Huh? Isn't he okay? Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's either it's one of those two because uh, Far From Home, I sympathize with Peter so fucking mm-hmm. much, as well as mm-hmm. like Mysterio just being like one of my <laughs> fuck off. Uh, <laughs> As well as Mysterio just being, like, one of my favorite villains because of that movie. He like, was a great villain, actually. It was, was a really good movie. Yeah. Uh, maybe I would put it in my top ten, actually. Yeah, because, like, there was a horror aspect to that shit. Like, you didn't mm-hmm. expect that. And, like, the skeleton fucking Iron Man suit, that was fucking sick. Mm-hmm. The uh, train shit. He got hit by a fucking train. <laughs> like every other Peter stopped them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like uh MJ being Zendaya is pretty fucking sick and like him Love just having her. a crush on Zendaya in general. And now in IRL they are together like that's so great. Yeah, like just so game. many everything in the movie and everything out surrounding the movie just makes the movie that much better. Um, I don't think I will enjoy the third movie, you know, you, as much uh, as... We, we, we talked about that in the last uh, one, and... But I just need it to be known, it's not gonna be as good. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. <laughs> For the fans <laughs> to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew yeah. Garfield, because, like, there's all those bum fucks that think that Tom Holland isn't the best Spider-Man. And they're like, I miss Tobey Maguire. Like, why do you miss Tobey Maguire? Right. You know, I guess it's fine for the nostalgia. Yeah, like, I miss Tobey Maguire just because he was the first one. I miss Andrew Garfield because uh, he was supposed to take up the mantle. Like, they're all Spider-Man at the end of the day. Yeah, I do watch it. I do enjoy remembering when I used to watch, like, the first movie with my cousins at my uncle's house for, like, the first time. That was a nice experience, I think. Yeah. That will be nice to remember again more lively during this next movie. I saw a post where it was the three Spider Men, but Toby Maguire had like a beard and like longer hair and stuff. Like he mm-hmm. was fucking like he was Old. fucking Luke Skywalker <laughs> of the Spider Men. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but he he was like Spider-Man, it was like Doc Ock, it was just like, oh, Spider-Man, what will you do when your precious city burns, or some shit like that, and fucking everyone else was silent, and Tommy Byron was like, I'm gonna throw dirt in your eyes. That's <laughs> 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 so good. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think it's gonna be an amazing experience for the fans, like how we were saying with the whole contrast between that and Captain America catching Thor's hammer kind of shit. Mm-hmm. 
definitely. So, uh, oh, I totally skipped over a fucking topic. Holy shit. Um, oops. Oh, right. The, the, the Texas one. Oh, yeah, I skipped over two topics. Holy shit. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, you know, you take it away for the, uh, Texas, the Texas one. Um, the new Texas abortion law that was just passed about, what, like four days ago or so? I don't have the exact date. It's called, like, the heartbeat law. And, um, it's, Basically, you... oh crap! Wait up! Wait up! Fuck! Sorry, it it did not yeah. pick you up after you said it's that fucking my shit just decided to die. I need to unplug my shit. Go ahead and uh, retell that. Sorry. Oh, from the whole thing? Okay. Uh, you said uh, the heartbeat law is... is and... Oh, the, the heartbeat law is basically just women not being a, like allowed to get a, an abortion after six weeks of pregnancy. Um, but it's, like, not all cases. I don't know the stipulations, but... For majority women, after six weeks of pregnancy, it's illegal. And, like, immediately afterwards, there was this woman who was doing an at-home abortion because an of the law. Ab Holy shit. Yep. And she got into the hospital and she passed there because of it just going wrong. Holy and, shit. And, like, that's going to be such a large problem. Like, that's going to happen way more frequently now that it's literally illegal. Like, it takes women longer than six weeks sometimes to find out if they're pregnant. You know, if they're on birth control yeah, and it fails like, and they don't get their pregnant, or yeah, they don't they get never, their period. They would never fucking think about it if they're on this stuff. Yeah. They'd never even consider, like, they'd be pregnant, but they could be. Yeah. And when or, you figure out six months or six weeks later that you are, you're fucked. Mm hmm Or, like, more negative scenarios, like rape or underage like, yeah. children, and yeah. they don't have any way to control the situation, and then they find out they're pregnant and they can't get an abortion. Like, that's ridiculous. I I think there's a lot of uh, well we we don't usually dive into like pol politicals on this podcast for sure but there is yeah. like certain situations where we have to be like all right th th this, this has is to pretty this is kind of bad needs yeah. to be talked about this affects yeah. women everywhere not just in Texas because now that this law's passed another law is going to get passed somewhere and so on and so on. <laughs> Yep. And I, it's just, I don't understand how, uh, I mean, I, every time I hear about like any kind of news on like abortion or like women's rights or anything like that in, especially in different countries, uh, it's always like, mm -hmm. oh, all these grown men are making these decisions. Yeah. And I just like, seen, uh, um, from this interview with like secretary of senate or something some higher up woman that is close working with the president and some man was like what does the president say about this abortion law she's like well he agrees that it should be a woman's choice because it affects the woman only and like even our president agrees yet texas because they want to be independent in their own state. Right. Oh. So I... Oh, no, that was actually a pretty good topic. Um, I... I think, like... Um... The... 
it, it does come down to it being obviously a uh, a woman's choice. Mm-hmm. It, it always should come down to that because, um, right? It like ultimately it is them that you're doing that to, and I also do think that there is the aspect that like if it's a relationship, like oh, like obviously talk about that stuff, like um, determine together on whether or not it's you're in a good state to do that. Uh, I also think that it shouldn't be a big deal if like, so say say in that one instance that you said like they're underage or whatever, like they're high school, whatever. Right. And uh, she wants to keep it, but he wants to get rid of it because uh, financials and they're in high school and Mm -hmm. but she wants to keep it because she well she just wants to keep it whatever like i think that that shouldn't be a big deal for them to then at that point just determine like okay this happened uh obviously it's both our faults but Mm -hmm. i want to keep it you don't and i feel like that's would always be this blaring thing in our relationship Mm-hmm. So we should probably call it off, and I'm okay with like, like not really bringing you into the kid's life, right? Raising this child wanna... on yeah, my own type thing. Yeah, and I don't think you should ever like fault the guy for really wanting right. one, like really right. wanting uh her to get it because like you're either terrified or you're underage or something like. And accidents happen. Like it takes two to fucking tango, and, and if it yeah. and if it's not like, obviously, if it's not consensual, like right. how you were also saying, then, mm-hmm. I mean, I I can't imagine a lot of women would want to keep something like that. Right. It, it, of it'd course. Feel kind it would of like just... a constant reminder. Exactly. Why should it be a woman's burden of something forced on her? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I don't know. I, I think um, it, it's a pretty dumb way of going about this kind of shit. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's absolutely not... Oh, jeez. I just fucked that up so bad. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm <laughs> fucking this up so bad right now. There we go. That's fine. Okay. Um, it, it absolutely just comes down to the girl and like, just it, it fucking makes me sick knowing like, all these guy politicians are like, pro life like, uh, um, right. I can understand like, uh, deciding for every woman. Yeah, like, what the just, fuck? Yeah, That's it was. Like deciding it was what you want for by... breakfast. It was won by five votes out of four. So, like, five people just decided for an entire state of women that, hey, sorry, six weeks and then you're having that baby. Yep. What? I can understand um, That's all it wanting takes. to five preserve. People. I can understand wanting to preserve life. But if they don't want to take care of it, would you? Right? What? Like, like if they're if you're forcing these people to have their baby, and when this baby enters and eventually will one hundred percent will enter an adoption center, right, or foster care or something. When that baby enters, what are you gonna do? Like as the yeah. politician, like you're just putting more kids in your birthing these kids into positions where they are set up for failure pretty much yeah exactly and like before anything gets bad like obviously it's a sad thing like it's it's a it's a kid but like it's and now that kid's gonna be sad about not having parents and not understand yeah and like what even happened obviously it kind of sounds bad to be like oh then uh, end it before it starts. 
but like mm -hmm. again parents choice and that is i don't know how else to say this but that is a that is a collection of cells yep with no memory no thought process and like it, not one thought yet not one thought yet head empty head empty no thoughts no so. head yet no head yet <laughs> <laughs> So it, it's a sad thought, but I think it's just such like a reasonable thing. Um, one second. Mm -hmm. Why did it type that? Excuse me. Oh, there we go. I don't oh, know your uh, your ghost writer, Mike. The fuck? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, is this it? No. Okay, yeah. So, the next topic is another kind of sensitive one, uh, but also a very on a positive side. Mm -hmm. Um,. Conversion therapy survivors are now coming after those who try to uh, converge them. Ooh. And Is it like a specific conversion therapy like place or just in general? In general. So the LGBT commu LGBTQ community um, has been like launching like all these uh, support systems and like... Mm -hmm. uh, GoFundMe's or whatever on like the suing of certain people or like the cancellation of these people like in their right fucking that set shit. up the places right and all that so I thought it would be uh educational to know where conversion therapy is still legal to this day oh yes so state laws that bans conversion therapy for minors is mm. uh isn't a whole lot it is california nevada okay. utah colorado uh, new mexico oregon washington uh new york don't even know that maine bank <laughs> <laughs> virginia uh it, it's not it's like a handful a good handful but a handful right majority um, are just speckled throughout the top of the u.s right uh states that partially bans conversion therapy for minors i don't even i don't know how you partially ban that as well right what um hmm. but apparently yeah those, maybe it's those... just like counties some counties yeah, so more more northern states uh, mm -hmm. partially banned it, but not fully. Mm -hmm. Kind of dumb. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. and then state is in federal judicial circuit with a preliminary injunction currently preventing enforcement of conversion therapy bans. So, Florida... And oh. above, I for I'm not no fucking geologist, no geologist, <laughs> geography, ge ge whatever you know the fucking map yeah, people. Them the map people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm not Florida and above, just like two other states above, uh, are in this like limbo of fighting for, uh, the prevention of banning conversion mm -hmm. therapy. Which mm -hmm. fucking sickens me. More than so many fucking states. Way more than the amount of states that uh, do have it banned. Do right. not have conversion therapy banned. Yeah, even the partially banned, like... Yep. That still means it's not banned. Yep. It, it's, it's banned in Hawaii, which I actually think is interesting honestly it, it's a weird like you never think of like anything yeah, that's, bad that's ever pretty... happening in hawaii yeah. actually yeah <laughs> um that's pretty cool i mean i guess obvious then is since i feel like again yeah nothing bad like that in hawaii except for from outsiders right <laughs> yeah outsiders 
I am a local of 20 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so one of those states that uh, has no bans on conversion therapy is Texas. And Texas is really fucking striking. Texas might be one of the cheapest states that you could probably fucking live in. But hot <laughs> damn, is that just fucking the awful. The worst. <laughs> yeah. It's kind like, of weird, too. No basic human rights there. Just none. <laughs> yep. This Unless is you're weird. a white man, you get really nothing there. Yep. Uh, dude, like, dead ass, though. So. Um, another little, con uh, not conversion therapy, but LGBTQ news that is also mm -hmm. very sad. Uh, this time, so the sad news is uh in hungary and i learned this from bogey in hungary mm -hmm. uh they actually banned lgbtq rights mm -hmm. so, like marriage and everything or ma uh, dating literally everything so they banned uh if you are in the community you do not get health care you do not get uh well you don't get basic human rights right like, like if you if they have any kind of record saying anything. that you are yeah if you have any record of you being like in the community that you have no you don't have the rights of a normal citizen wow and uh one of those things is like people will hire you um and of course there's a fucking economic crisis as well hungary mm -hmm. is just a fucking piece of shit in general but like that holy shit just like Yikes. oh i know how to fix this let's take the rights from fucking lgbtq yeah that'll do it like what it made no sense and like that's just another fucking thing like all these old fucks just making dumbass decisions for Fucking who knows why? Like, what yeah, what are they like, doing? What is that's the benefit? Your yeah. <laughs> How what, what are, is the benefit? What because the gay agenda, moles? You know, the the gay agenda is gonna the destroy agenda. the world. Purge the ha the heterosexuals. Yeah, we're we're purging you straights and super straights. We're coming for you. Yeah. Like, um. Yeah. It it really doesn't make sense, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know how I just keep on like jumping topic to topic here. Um, so <laughs> the there's two things, uh, two scams that I really wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, all of a sudden, just now. <laughs> <laughs> so the first scam, fucking college, dude. Janelle was telling me that she Don't had to buy her just books. Go back? Yeah, yeah, no, but and I still probably will, unfortunately. Janelle <laughs> just told me that she has a fourteen-page uh, essay due, and it's it's like due like towards the end of the semester, right? Right. And um, and so that makes sense whatever but she had to buy her books and that's like a normal thing for college at least over here it's a normal thing for college you have to buy your books i don't know if any yeah. other country really like provides them usually or whatever but i have to buy them here and so i guess that's kind of normal kind of a bullshit thing but you're literally just buying into this stuff but what she told me today was that she had to buy her books and she had to buy her homework buy her homework i don't even know what the f i don't know where the fuck to start with that like what um, like college at that point just sounds pay to win like <laughs> yeah what if you're gonna be buying all you have this to pay shit, to do your assignments that you have to do to pass a class yeah uh, for the class that you're already paying to take yeah and <laughs> That, that is, made no fucking sense. Like, that is That is the whole new level. What? Yeah, and it it doesn't make any... Like, pay to win for sure. Because, like, at the, if you're going that fucking far, if or any rich person can, can just buy all the shit, right? And then mm -hmm. buy someone to do it. Right. 
And then they get a fucking master's, and then they try to perform surgery, but they can't because they don't know shit. Because they didn't learn anything. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's... That is the stupidest thing ever. Imagine failing a class because you couldn't pay for your homework assignments because you're working and trying to live in L.A. or something. You yeah, can't pass your what... class because you can't pay for your homework. Oh my god, that's so a, dumb. Yeah, what a dumb fucking reason. Like, that's... Ugh. Intuition itself is already a ridiculous, like, out of outlandish fucking thing, of course. Mm hmm And, like, I don't know. It, it, it really didn't make sense when she said it. So there's that scam, which, oh like, gosh. really did turn me from the whole college thing again, I'll tell you that. I was like, <laughs> what in the fuck does that even mean? That's why I didn't go. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> but, um... So there's that, and then there's hospitals, all right? Janelle mm. was in the hospital, and I was Poor able Janelle. to go she from She's getting where... the short end of every stick. Yeah, she she went to the hospital because uh, pancreatitis, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to, like, belittle that, but I, I, don't want, I also don't want to tell her story. Um, yeah. But she was able to sit and wait for help. From the time I left our house and got got to LA and back, mm -hmm. and then she got a room. They gave her a room. Like that that is two hours there and back. Oh my god, she had to wait that long? She had to wait four hours to get a fucking room. Oh my god. And then like I mean, I've and I've heard stories like people have mm. literally been in an immense amount of pain, and when they walk in, they're doing paperwork. They're not getting help. They're doing paperwork, saying that they're there and doing their insurance, and then yeah. like no one even helps them after they're done with the paperwork. They're just sitting in the fucking lobby for like fucking three hours until someone helps them. But by then, they're either a fucking dead, to b fucking like knocked out from all the pain. Mm -hmm. Or C, it passed. Right. And they don't even need to be there anymore. Um, yeah, um, I hospitals are a scam. I went through a lot with my grandpa when he was going in and out of hospitals. And also just how much of a lack of responsibility any of them take. Uh, we lost so much of my grandpa's shit when he was going in and out of hospitals and being transported to like hospice and all that, we lost yep. his like military ID and everything. Um, and then my grandma right now, she like not that long ago had uh, that breathing problem and she was in the hospital all day from like eight in the morning to eight at night. And they didn't help her whatsoever. Yeah, like, and that's another thing, too, like, in this And then wanted time, to keep her there overnight, like, yeah, yeah, to do what? Yeah, exactly, and then they charge you, like, up the ass just for the stay. Yep. Like, it can go into, like, the hundred thousands just for a mm -hmm. stay. The fucking, um, what's it called? So... so also, another thing. So, she's waiting four hours for a room. Mm hmm And they're not doing any kind of tests in this amount of time. The second she gets her room and she can actually try to relax a little bit... Right. They're act that's when they want to run that's tests. They... What? Yeah. Where was she waiting? In, like, the lobby? She... I don't know. It was like a... It's like just one of those like urgent care kind of room things, I think. Like mm -hmm. not like a full blown uh hospital bedroom, but like a uh just more like a checkup kinda kinda area. Oh my god, and they kept it there for four hours doing nothing. That's doing ridiculous. nothing. Yeah. Just fucking paperwork, asking fucking like, oh, do you have a history of this? Like doing absolutely no fucking actual tests. Mm hmm. So, 
I don't uh, know. That, that, that shit and the fucking... It, it's all just a fucking scam. And, mm-hmm. like, I'm sure there's several... I'm sure there's I'm sure there's several good people at hospitals. Like I, I doubt there's like Yeah. I doubt everyone who works at a hospital is just like this piece of shit that's like oh, I'm here for the money. Oh, that's another thing too. Like they they don't want to save your life unless they know you're going to pay them kind of shit like right. that's ugh, It's just Hospitals like, in Canada are a lot better, aren't they? Yeah, I think they have free healthcare. Yeah. Oh, free healthcare, but I think it's like ridiculously long waits is what it is also well i mean maybe I think that's it's what ridiculously, the trade-off was it might be a ridiculously long wait uh simply well like determined because they would determined be more busy. by like probably determined by pain and also like how they can just skip like paperwork because of free health care maybe i don't know right I don't know exactly how that works, but, like, I feel like that's a little bit more justified. Yeah. But this is just fucking, like, you need to prioritize people in pain. Like, if they're in an immense amount of pain, like, why are you having them do fucking paperwork? Just help them. True. America is selfish. Oh, yeah, definitely. America Um, runs on money. Or America runs on Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Duncan is money. Duncan is money, yeah, that's a new currency. <laughs> well, we've somehow, some way been able to squeeze out a fucking hour long podcast. I believe that oh, yeah, deserves we popped off. A, a round of a fucking applause, honestly. Mm-hmm. That was Pop off. <laughs> Yeah, it really was. It really did just turn into uh, this. This is probably the most political episode we might have, honestly. It just yeah, like, but that's because I came up with the topics, honestly. Yeah, well, like most of them, yeah. But like, and there's not really an issue with it. It's just like it's not how it's always gonna be. Like we're usually gonna be talking about yeah, like, either lighthearted dumb shit, stuff, nerdy shit, gaming. Like, embarrassing stories and oh. i know i said last time uh i would save embarrassing stories for this podcast but obviously i would want the three of us to be here for that because i would love to hear more stories of about pissing hector a bed. pissing yep <laughs> he's not Wait. here to defend yeah. him so. yeah we could talk about it he's not here that little piss baby <laughs> that little piss baby <laughs> I what can't wait fuck- until he listens to this. What a <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, it's funny, too. I was on the phone mm-hmm. with him when he, you know, fucking bailed on us. Yeah. Um, and uh, I I asked if Sam, because Sam was right there. I was on the speaker. I was like, oh, did she not listen to that part? She's like, no, why would I make her do, why would I let her do that? I was like, because it's fucking <laughs> hilarious. It's hilarious. You should just uh, clip that part and send it to Sam on Insta. Oh my god, I totally should. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then make but- sure that Honk's not with her. Yeah, so just don't even tell Honk that I did it. Yeah. Um, you know, another... Well, sorry. So, for those who have no fucking idea what we're even, like, referring to with Hector and the piss baby stuff, um, (laughs) that was in our previous podcast episode. Uh, this is... We have up to three now. This is our third, uh... Obviously, we still have a name for it, as we mentioned at the literal very beginning of this. But uh, if you guys are watching or listening rather to this one first, um, then the other two are also up, and I would recommend uh, listening to those as well because it's not like we're doing like a series. It's usually pretty fucking random every time, except for this time where we get to talk about piss baby Hector without him defending himself. <laughs> yes, rare occasions like this. Yeah. As a rare occasion, podcast is as well simply because it's just me and Alyssa. We talked politics and we fucking yeah. and and piss baby. And we bag on piss baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Um, I think we should probably wrap it there, though, because there's no shot in hell I'm going to have anything interesting to say. Uh, yep, my head empty, no thoughts. Yeah, head empty, no fucking thoughts. So I'm going to wrap it right there. But uh, like I said, if you guys wanted to listen to the other two podcasts, they are currently up on the channel right now. Uh, hopefully we will be posting these every Monday, whether or not we're recording them on that Monday or the day before. Uh, it might change like this every now and then. It, we might change it on different days, but it's usually going to be on Mondays. Uh, if not, we're just obviously late. Uh, life gets in the way. And then another thing I wanted to say was just, uh, it's not always going to be, uh, the three of us together. It is, it is going to change up sometimes. Sometimes we'll have guests. It'll be four people. Sometimes it'll be five people. Sometimes it'll just be me and Alyssa, you know, uh, or just me and Hector, but, uh, definitely looking out for, uh, at least one of those two in every single podcast that we do have, um, in the future, uh, but with that being said, uh, go ahead and check out the socials that I have been listing on this podcast this entire time. Uh, sorry, this one's kind of a little bit unorthodox as far as like audio went for a second there and uh, the general screens where it said we'll be right back. That was kind of awkward. But I mean, practice makes perfect, and I would like to hear your guys' uh, suggestions on only making this podcast better, and obviously some fucking suggestions for a fucking name, because we have no idea. <laughs> so, uh, that being said, though, we will see you guys in uh, the next podcast. Should be posted next Monday. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a good amount of topics together. Hopefully, some dumb shit happens this week, and. Hopefully I'll also have posted some uh, gameplay videos or just anything in general uh, by then as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's it. Bye, Bye guys.